Hey Google, what are we learning about today? How to create and manage shortcut commands. Hey Google, what are shortcut commands? Shortcuts let you create faster, easier ways to do your favorite things with your Google Assistant. Are you pumped? I'm totally pumped. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And just like the Google Home said, today we're gonna learn about managing shortcuts through the Google Home app. Shortcuts are really great because it allows you to say a simple phrase to complete a large task on the Google Home. So in this example that I used in the beginning, all I did was set up a shortcut phrase where what are we going to learn today? And then the command that it actually repeated was repeat after me and then what it said about shortcuts. So let's dive into the Google Home app and I'm gonna show you just how this is all done. To start creating and managing your own shortcuts, go into the Google Home application and this will work on iOS or Android when you're controlling the Google Home. But if you are using shortcuts for your phone, this will only work on Android. If you click the settings up at the top, make sure that you are signed into the proper Gmail account. This will work with multiple users so make sure you have the account you want to control on right there. Then you need to go down and select more settings. Then when you go down under the services tab, you will see the shortcuts right here. So if you click on that, it will open up. Here at the top, it will show you shortcuts that are already enabled. And then right here, if I wanna turn off one of the shortcuts, I can easily do that and I can turn it back on. Down at the very bottom, when you first go into the shortcuts, you will see popular shortcut commands. So the shortcut here, this one has one called workout time. So let's open that up. So once I say the keywords and say workout time, it will then do this assistant command down here at the bottom. So when I say workout time, it will say play workout music on Google Play Music. If I wanna use a different phrase as well, I can add that here. Pump it up. Now when I say that, phrase as well, it will complete this task. So I'm gonna click save, and let's try it out. When you first complete a command, it take, may take a minute to go over to the Google Home. Hey Google, workout time. Sure, play your Google Play Music playlist called Workout. Then you can go through here and see some of the other popular commands. Some of these will not work using the Google Home. So this one says send a text that would not work on the Google Home. Another one says show me Corgi videos on YouTube. That will only work if you set it up to work with your Chromecast. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then here you have ask Harmony to increase the volume. You would be required to have a Harmony remote to be able to use that. So make sure you know what services you already have and home control devices before you set up any of these shortcuts. Be sure to check the link below to stay up to date on if your country is supported. Also, when creating a shortcut, make sure that you use the proper terminology. I'll also leave a link down below where you can see exactly what phrases you should use when you are doing different commands. So now let's create a new shortcut that I wanna use. So I wanna turn off all the lights in this room faster instead of saying, turn off all the studio lights. I just wanna say studio off. Let's go and create a custom command. So is what I wanna do is click on the plus down here at the bottom. And in this command, I want to turn off the studio lights easily just by saying good night. So here I'm gonna hit click the mic, good night. Make sure that it has just the phrase I wanna say. And then what should Google Assistant do? turn off the studio. Then I click save, and let's try it out. Hey Google, good night. Happy hibernating, tech with Brad. Hey Google, good night. So it looks like I may need to use a different command because one is already set to say good night and then I have made one that turns off the light, so I can try that out later. Hey Google, turn on the studio. Sure, turning three things on. So now I wanna set up another command that will work with the Google Home and my Chromecast. So maybe I get home from work and there's a channel I always wanna watch. So instead of saying play Tech with Brett from YouTube on Chromecast Ultra, I can set up a command where it will automatically do that. 
So let's go set up a custom command. It's tech time. That's going to be my phrase. And what will Google Assistant do? Play Tech with Brett from YouTube on Chromecast Ultra. All right, that looks good. So I'm going to click Save. And let's try it out. Okay, so on this one, I have my TV with my Chromecast in the back, and then I'm going to use my new custom phrase. Hey, Google, it's tech time. Okay, playing tech with Brett from YouTube on Chromecast Ultra. So there, it automatically turned my Chromecast to my YouTube channel, and there it is playing. Another great way to use the shortcut commands is to work with a assistant app that you have. So maybe I want to use this Chuck Norris facts, but instead of saying talk to Chuck Norris fact every time, I just want to say Norris time. So if we go back and go into the shortcuts, create a new one and say Norris time. Talk to Chuck Norris facts. And then I click save. Hey Google. Norris time. Sure, here's Chuck Norris fact. Chuck Norris eats 10 eggs daily. <laughs> okay. If you want to turn off any of the shortcuts right here on the side, you can turn those off. If you would like to delete a shortcut that you no longer want to see, you just open up the shortcut and then you click the trash can in the top and that will delete that shortcut. There are so many things this can do, you just gotta start playing with it. Sometimes there's a phrase maybe that you keep saying and it just doesn't hear you right. This is a great option where you can come in, say exactly what you want to, and have it do exactly what you want it to do. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about Google Home shortcuts. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if you know anybody else with a Google Home, please share this video with them because they're totally missing out on this feature if they're not using it. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button because I'm going to bring you new tech tips, tricks, and tutorials all about the Google Home, phones, smart homes, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next tutorial.